Hello and welcome to the next tutorial on Python. So as before, we're going to make a new window to write our code in. Now this time we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to create a variable, but we're going to take input from the keyboard this time. So we can have the person who's uh, using the program actually enter in some information and save it whilst the program is running. So if we do a print line first, and for example, hello, what is your name? Question mark. And close the speech mark, close the bracket. Now the next line is where it gets fun. So we're going to make a variable again. We're going to call it name as we did before, but this time we're going to make it equal to input and open, open and close brackets. Now what this is doing, this line input and the open and close brackets, it's saying to the computer, whatever the person enters in, please go ahead and store it in this variable called name. We must have the equal sign, must have the word input, and the open and close brackets. Now what we can do, we've got the person's name stored, we can do a print line and go open the speech marks, open the bracket, hello, close the speech marks, comma, name, and finally close the brackets. Whoops, just get rid of the typo there. Close the brackets, there we go. So the way this is going to work, whatever the person enters in will get stored in the variable, and then it will print to the screen hello and whatever name they've entered. So I'm going to go ahead and run this to show you how this works. Run the module, have to save it first, and I'll just call this name again. There we go, save that. Yep, replace it. Here we go, so it's asked me what is your name, so I'm going to type in Bob again. Hit enter, and it's saying hello Bob. Now, just to show you how this is different from the last time we ran this, if I go back to the original window again, and if we run it one more time, if, for example, this time I put in Fred, it says hello Fred. So, basically, now you've got a way of taking input from the user and then temporarily storing it and using it within your program. Now, this is really useful. For example, if we were going to write an adventure game, we could put another little comma here and, for example, welcome, welcome to... Uh, your epic adventure, for example. There we go. So now it will print, hello, whatever name's entered in, and then welcome to your epic adventure. So this could be the beginning of a text-based adventure game. So here we go again. Hello, what is your name? Uh, we'll just be Fred again this time. Hit enter. Hello, Fred. Welcome to your epic adventure. So as you can see, we're starting to be able to make some code which we can start using in more interesting ways. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial. And next time what we'll do is we'll have a look at if and else statements so we can start making our program make some decisions. Hope you enjoyed that and see you next time. Bye for now.